What is up, guys? It's your boy Shady Luke back with another video. And man, we gotta talk about your boy again. I know I already made a video, but I'm gonna keep making. I gotta, I gotta put out, you know, some videos for the homie, Lamar Jackson, right? Lamar, in my opinion, dude, Lamar. The stats may not show it, but he's playing so good. He's playing some damn good football, man. In this game against the Lions, who would have expected this? Who would have expected them to blow out the Lions? People are talking about, ooh, Lions are one of the best in the NFC. And then Lamar was like, nah, bro. Let me put all this to let me put all this to bed. And uh, you know, obviously we knew what happened, but let's check out the footy of him versus the Lions. All right, on this play we got a second and eight. Um, got the single up at the top, wide receiver motioning down into a twins. Then we got Lamar out of the 11 personnel, and you'll see right here the end is gonna collapse and he's gonna keep the ball. So they're running read option, and they got some RPO. So you see that that linebacker had it contained and then just flicked it off to OBJ. I mean that's a really good read. Um, I feel like Lamar before when we used to watch him in the earlier years he'd run in this situation just try to get to the edge. But you see right here this is the evolution of Lamar man. I mean, he's reading everything so well. And you see the container right there, boom, just dumps it off to OBJ. No hesitation, easy completion. And honestly, I really wish we would have saw this from Lamar, like these sprinkle RPOs in when he was playing earlier in his career. I remember seeing a lot of jumbo packages with him running a lot. I don't remember RPOs. Baltimore fans, please enlighten me. Like, tell me, am I am I wrong? But I honestly, I, I don't remember a lot of RPO. I remember a lot of like runs, but not a like, not a lot of run pass options you know what i mean all right man on this play we got a fourth and one and you'll see right here they're gonna really trick detroit right here they're gonna run a little bit of play action they think it's gonna be a run and then just boom he has a blocker out there there's no contain that's an easy six for lamar that's an easy six i mean look at them thinking that's gonna be a run to the running back and then just boom right outside easy money bro nobody containing lamar jackson yeah yeah john harbaugh will take that all right, on this play, we got a third and seven. We got the single up at the top out of shotgun. Mo wide receiver motioning into the trip down at the bottom. You'll see right here, wide receiver's just gonna hit that stick in the soft zone. Boom. Nice, easy completion. I feel like Lamar low-key has a cannon arm. Am I the only one that thinks that? I bet those wide receivers sometimes are like, damn, bro, like lay off the heat. <laughs> you know what I mean? But now nah, look at Aiden right there. I mean, Aiden nearly got to his arm and Lamar just stood in there and delivered that absolute dot to his wide receiver really nice completion on a third and seven all right we got a third and one out of shotgun bunch down at the bottom single up at the top and you'll see right here i mean the, i heard that the whole goal was for them to pinch the pocket that's what greg olson said but you'll see right there lamar had his eyes downfield the whole time didn't see anything gets out of contain gets the first down easy money easy money if you are running man or zone with lamar and you don't have a QB spot. I mean, <laughs> we all know, even if you have a QB spot, he still might beat your guy. But if you have nobody there and your defensive line gets out of contain and there's a rushing lane for Lamar on a, on a third and one, he'll take that. That's that's too easy, man. That's just, that's just real easy for Lamar right here. Good play. Good situational football as well. All right, we got a third and three. Got him out of the shotgun. Twins down at the bottom. Twins up at the top. And the lines are going to be manned up right here. And you'll see... This is just straight up off script by Lamar. You see right there, kind of run into his line a little bit, buying time, buying time, boom. Somebody sprung open and delivered an absolute strike into the end zone for six. And this is just him growing, man. I mean, look at this. Right when he gets out of contain, he spins out of that. You can make the case down at the bottom right here. We all know how fast this man is. He probably could have ran and got the first down right there. But did he do it? Nah, he had his eyes downfield and delivered an absolute strike to the end zone for six, man. That's what we all want to see from this kid, just kind of him growing, you know, as a quarterback. Eyes downfield, throwing the ball. We want to see him throwing. We know he can run, but <laughs> there's no question Lamar can pass anymore, but it's just it's just really cool to watch now that he's like more polished. All right, on this play, we got a first and 10 out of pistol 12 personnel. And you'll see right here, there's going to be a blitzer off the edge. The tight end like chips him and then just goes out. Last second, I think Lamar sees him and then just boom delivers the deep strike on that deep crosser that's a really nice play i honestly think he, he saw that guy and he just stood in there and he's like nah hell no nah, i'm getting this shit out boom throws it right there really really high level play right there in my honest opinion but now nah, i'm stunned that that tight end didn't stay in and block longer i mean that's just a free guy to lamar good on lamar to freaking make up for it and just get the ball out and complete the pass because that could have been uh possibly disastrous if you know what i mean all right in this play we got him out of shotgun 11 personnel twins up at the top twins down at the bottom and you'll see right here i mean 
<laughs> Aiden's almost getting there in a lot of plays. And you see right there. I mean, Lamar just stays in the pocket, has his eyes downfield, and just delivers the absolute strike on a third and 11. That's huge. That's huge. That's like something. And when I've watched the Ravens offense this year, I feel like I've been seeing Lamar makes plays like this and his wide receivers not catching it. So it was huge in this game, especially against the Detroit Lions when they're five and one. You know what I mean? All right. On this play, we got a first and 10. And I really like this play. And I mean, it's a simple play action. We see a lot of offenses do this, but you'll see right here. Nice, easy dump off, quick pass in for six. And you want to know why I love this? Because when you have running quarterbacks like Lamar, it just makes it that much more dramatic because defenses buy on so much more with the run. And then you could just surprise them like, oh, no, hell no, no, we're, we're about to pass right here. And you see right there, they get in for six. Really like that play. Easy, easy, easy. Come on, Detroit. Make it a little bit harder for them. All right, man, on this play, you'll see Aiden up at the top. And Aiden honestly doesn't play this bad. I mean, he comes in, but he's still kind of playing contained, but just off by half a yard, a yard against quarterbacks like lamar and some of these other running quarterbacks dude if you're off by just a little bit football is a game of angles in certain situations and in this situation just being off like this you're out of position <laughs> as crazy as that sounds honestly though like aiden was in a pretty solid position because he didn't like bite hard for the running back but he was also hyper aware of lamar being back there as well so he was like kind of like in between on that read option but it didn't matter man the angle was off he was in the wrong position just by a little bit and quarterbacks like this they'll make you pay so you know this is a really simple easy read option but angles man angles against guys like this all right coming out in the 12 personnel single wide receiver down the bottom i mean they're gonna get them right here they're gonna get them you'll see detroit's thinking they're running a power play and boom mark andrews is wide open man wide open they're definitely falling for that they're thinking that the power play is going to the outside lamar's running it and then you saw right there i mean mark andrews literally just snuck down the field boom wide open for the touchdown it's one of the benefits man it's one of the benefits to having a running quarterback so people don't talk about this they would be oh you can pass can they pass blah blah blah, blah. Nah, man you can get defensive coordinators and defenses really really good you get them thinking one thing then you come back at them with another thing and they're like ah shit they got us all right this is a really good play call right here i mean this is a second and seven and you see that they're motioning over the fullback to the strong side so you're thinking honestly second and seven they could be running right here but you'll see right here they were in a little bit of play action the running back slips past the coverage wide open just wide open literally nobody back there but the safety man Whew. That's a tough play. That's a really good play call, too. I mean, honestly, I was watching this game live, and I honestly thought that they were going to run on this play. And then I saw that happen, and I was like, damn. It's a good play call. Literally not a soul back there, man. Really good play call right here. And I mean, I don't know. You guys just let me know. What do you guys think about in this play? If you were watching it live as a fan, not from a player, but as a fan, would you, would you have thought that they were going to run right there to the strong side? just based off of what we're looking at i don't know man all i know is i love the play call and that was dope all right on this play we got a second and seven twins on both sides out of shotgun and you'll see right here the coverage is so far up that mark andrews just gets right back there boom boom right over number 32 i mean that's easy that's easy i mean detroit is make no mistake from this game detroit's a really good team and their defense has been playing really good but for some reason today, like you see right here, Lamar just made it look easy against their defense. Really good play. So yeah, man, I mean, Lamar, keep doing your thing, man. Keep doing your thing. Zay Flowers, as the year goes by, I think Zay Flowers is going to get better and better and more explosive. And you keep having this from Lamar and the AFC. I mean, AFC is good. We all know this, but I was high on Baltimore going into the season. and I'm still high on them. And I think Lamar has been playing good regardless of what his statistics are. I honestly think that he's been playing really good this year. And I mean, with this game, the Ravens are, what are they, 5-2? and two? Yep, they're 5-2. and two, Have the most points for in the, uh, the division. Least points against. Like, they're first in that division and they're in the driver's seat. So we'll see how this goes. But this is a really impressive game for Lamar against Detroit. Detroit's pretty hot in the NFC. So this is really dope to see if you're Baltimore. I'd get pretty hyped. Anyways, guys, it's your boy Shady Luke. Drop a like if you enjoyed the footy today. And for sure, subscribe because you know and I know your boy's going to be dropping more dope football content all season long. You know this. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching. I'm Audi and I'll catch you on the next one. Deuces. <laughs>